Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the fade in function in jQuery, which allows us to fade a particular element uh, of our choice in our web page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the example of an image. So I have an image saved uh, in this directory. Uh, let's just take a look at that and it's tartan.jpg. So I'm going to include this into my page. So tartan.jpg, give it an alt attribute, which would be tartan. And we also need to give this an ID. So I'm going to give this an ID and just call it image. So this is what we reference to when we need to fade this in, um, or in the next part of the tutorial, fade this out. So now that we've got our image, let's open up our browser and preview it. You can see that it's just an image on a page plane. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to include the functionality to fade this in when our page actually loads. So I've included effects.js, which is going to allow me to do this. And obviously I have jQuery.js included as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow the image to fade in once the document has loaded. So we need to reference the document, uh, which is document in parentheses, obviously uh, with the uh, leading uh, dollar sign and then we use the ready function and inside of this we create a function with a block and inside here we can write exactly what we want to happen so what we want to do is we want to take this image uh, element which we've named image this id that we've, uh, this image uh, page uh, element that we've named image sorry uh, then what we want to do is we want to use jQuery to fade it in from um, it being not visible um, when the page loads. So what we can do is we can say dollar and we need to reference this image and then we can say dot fade in. Now let's go to our browser and preview this. So you can see that it fades in uh, as soon as we load the page. Now there are some additional uh, parameters that we can give this function in order to change how it works. And the first one is the speed. Now we can name this um, ourselves, so sorry, we could say slow, or we could say fast for example, or we can give it a numerical representation, so we might have a thousand, that's one second because we're using milliseconds, or you could say something like 5000 which would represent five seconds. Let's go ahead and say two seconds for now, and you'll see that the speed in which it loads, uh, in which the animation takes place, uh, will be a lot um, slower. Uh, let's go and give it the example of slow. So you can see that it's uh, uh, loaded in a lot um, or faded uh, back in a lot uh, s slower than if we were to use fast, for example. That's a very quick fade in. We also have the um, optional parameter of how it works. Now, by default, this is swing. This is just the way the animation takes place and, uh, and uh, from it being not visible to visible. Um, we could go ahead and use linear. When we refresh, it just works in a slightly different way. It's quite hard to see how it works, um, but for now, that's, uh, that's uh, an option. Now, the last is a callback function. So what we can actually do is we can use a function to, um, again, display when this animation has faded in. So we could say function create a block and just bring this down and inside of here once this animation is complete completely faded in what we could do is we could say perhaps append some text to a div or a span so I'm going to create a div just here and I'm going to call this image underscore feedback and inside effects I want to reference this again so image underscore feedback and I want to append some text onto it or create some text inside this div and I'm just going to say effect complete. So now what's going to happen is however however slow or fast we have this once the animation has finished finished we have this callback function to let us know. So when I press F5 you can see or Uh, let's just change um, the visibility of this inside. Let's just say style equals display none. So I'm using uh, 
um, inline CSS just to style this so we uh, can't see it initially. When I refresh, you can see that as we fade in, we don't have this effect complete text there until the animation is complete. So the callback function could be used to perhaps load an image and then display additional images. So that's an option uh, or that's a usage of it. Uh, again, if we dis if we load it in, say, in two seconds, uh, this will take slightly longer and then it will display our effect complete message there. So this doesn't have to be used with images, it can be used with any other HTML element. So you just do exactly the same thing. Uh, you would use fa the fade in function, but this time reference something different. For example, if the ID was, uh, for example, a form uh, or a text, a text input field, you could actually fade these in as well. But I think images is a nice uh, example to use with fade in when you're looking at effects in jQuery.